ran, the rot of death loomed, always shadowing me. A man, yet not a man, a demon of sorts, amused himself with me, overtaking me, herding me deeper into the woods. The cold seeped into my bones. I strained against the constant rush of wind and snow. I felt the warm trickle of blood emerging from the wounds afflicted. The forest, a thick brush of twisting branches beat against me as I ran. There was nowhere safe to run. I glanced back, his eyes a radiant red that glared deep into my soul. He toyed with me, appearing to the right of me and to the left of me in a blink of an eye. How was this even possible? Still, I ran. My breath had spelled in white puffs of smoke. Each breath became a struggle, my legs growing increasingly heavy. I looked back. His body seemed to contort, almost morphing into something less of a man. The creature only grinned, baring its teeth. I fell, plummeting twenty feet down a hill. I tumbled and rolled uncontrollably, scraping against rocks and branches. Finally, I came to a sudden halt against a large boulder. I hoped he would not attempt the leap. I jumped up, ignoring the pain. Dirt and snow clung to me. I twisted in all directions, straining my eyes against the wind. I needed to see if he had followed me down, but there was nothing. Only the wind and the snow. Long trails of smoke billowed from me. I couldn't catch my breath. I had to move, but I didn't know where to go. I was battered. I didn't think I could make it much longer. My heart was aching against my chest, beating so hard I thought it would burst. I turned to run and winced in pain, clutching my knee. Then I saw him. He appeared out of nowhere right in front of me. I fell back into the snow. A mixture of decay and damp earth overwhelmed me. He grinned. Saliva dripped from his fangs. I could see a twisted excitement in his eyes. A hunger for the terror that clung to me. He drained me right there of my blood, of my life. He held me and I couldn't move. The pain ripped through my veins like razors. And then the creature dropped me and I writhed in pain more intense than the first. And then I saw a different light, a different view. I was given a second birth. I now walk with the ancients under the shadows of Rome.